sweet nest. That's a Cayuga female. So I'll come down here and try. Hey, farm friends. We hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we are busy this weekend here on the farm and we wanted to give you an update on our broody ducks. We have had two ducks who all summer have been trying to hatch eggs and they have been very unsuccessful. They haven't picked good nesting locations. Um, the last time we updated you, they had a nest on a hill and we finally got some rain after a very long drought. We had like almost six weeks with not even a whole inch of rainfall and um, it was it was rough so when it finally did rain it washed their nest down the hill and I candled um, those eggs in this video that I've got here up on the screen and go check that out if you want to see it I candled the eggs they did have a few viable ones and when we came back from vacation we weren't gone that long only four days we came back from vacation there were no eggs at all so I don't know if the change in the routine, them not going to the pond every day and being more um, enclosed in their, it's a quarter of an acre pen, so it's not small, but I don't know if that change maybe uh, made her stop sitting and something got the eggs or, or what, we really don't know. She is bound and determined to hatch some babies though. And currently, <laughs> She has claimed a nest of free-range chicken eggs in our open barn. We got back from vacation. This mama duck has decided to relocate to the barn. You can tell she doesn't want us anywhere near that nest. So we're going to leave you alone, mama. We're going to leave you alone and let you take care of your babies, okay? A you do a good job open barn. Now this is not a coop. Uh, it's not meant to be secure for animals, but during the day our chickens that get to free range in the pasture go in the barn, find a nice spot, and make a nest. And so we get to go on an Easter egg hunt every day, and they're constantly moving the nest. Uh, but our ducks go up at night. She is staying in our barn, sitting on this nest of chicken eggs, and the other day, Zach and I were in the barn and we heard peeping. And uh, where we have all of our chicks right now up at the Silky Coop, um, they're in the Silky Coop and then Moon has her eight chicks outside of the Silky Coop. I thought it was echoing down from that because they are very loud chicks. <laughs> but I went over to check her nest and I could hear cheeping. And I immediately went into rescue mode. Mama Duck was not on the nest and we weren't sure how long she had been off of it. And we have seen some snakes in the barn recently, so I was using a stick to pull back um, that hay on top where she had covered her nest really well. And I did find a few rotten eggs while I was looking for any that might be hatching. Oh. Put it close to your ear. Here, that's it. I don't feel anymore they're very warm. All right. I wonder if I put it under the Silky Mama, if it can go on and hatch. Or under, I'm afraid to put it under a wand. Yeah. Put it under, are the Silky Mama still sitting? Um, I might if there's an egg. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only need it to sit for. There's ants coming out of it. Can I hear? Hey, baby. Can I see? Right. We've got a broody wine dot right now, and her eggs aren't ready to hatch, but I'm gonna put this under her, let it hatch, and then I give it to one of our other mamas. Normally, I would not peel back an eggshell from a chick that's hatching, but I needed to make sure that it was not covered with ants and that I didn't need to intervene any further before I gave it to um, our broody hen. Here, and it is alive, so I'm gonna go give it to that broody mama. Come on, Eleanor. All right, 
they are in this house. So we're gonna open it and give it to them. Fruity Mama is the golden lace wine dot, and then there's a black Americana in here too, but her head is under the golden lace. Uh, Eleanor, back up. She is gonna peck me. She's very protective. She's gonna, ouch, ouch. But she won't know what's under her because she's got, ouch, eggs under her. <laughs> All right, I'll come back and check on you in a little bit. They're not ready to stop. Thank you, big man. <laughs> They're not ready to stop sitting yet. Their eggs aren't ready to hatch. So this is just a temporary surrogate situation we have here. Well, our chicky hatched. The one that we found in the barn that was hatching um, in the mama duck's nest that uh, she had abandoned for the day. And it is so interesting. This is mom is a black copper moron but I'm betting its dad is one of our wine dots because I see a rose comb. I see a little, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. I see a little point at the very end of its comb up there. How precious are you? Oh, how precious. All right, you're headed to the Silky Mamas. Let's go. What have y'all done to your water this morning, huh? Well, good morning, mamas. I have a baby for you. Yes, I do. I have a baby for you. Look, Ariel. That's your baby. It's your baby for you. I have come in to check on the little chick that hatched underneath the mommy duck. It's been a, a, oh, a couple of weeks, I guess, maybe, since this chick hatched, maybe less. Jacqueline will undoubtedly let me know. She's really good at keeping up with that stuff. I'm just not very good at keeping up. Hey, Eleanor, the gate's coming open, sweetheart. So, Eleanor's got this baby. Can you show us the baby? It's trying to keep warm. It doesn't want to open. Let me get Sweet little baby. Yeah, so, so you can see the color of that shell right there. That is a black copper maroon shell. So, the hen that is that baby's mother is one of our black copper marons pullets who is down with our free range flock out in the field down there. Once it's big old. So we do take our grow ups down there. So when this one grows out, it's gonna be with its mama. I bet its mama will recognize it. Maybe, yeah. Uh, its mama was a grow out down there and still kind of is with that group. But now she is starting to lay these beautiful eggs. Uh, I love our little sign here. Happy chicks live here. And those are definitely some happy chicks in there with those silky mamas and Miss Ariel, who are doing such a great job raising up these babies. So many of them. They can get out. The babies can get out of there, but they can run back in to the mamas and the safety if one of these roosters starts messing with them. There's a couple of roosters around here. I don't around think here. so. They know this is their family. You don't think the roosters will mess with them? That's very sweet. I hope not. Yeah, every time, look. That's the 
Well, they can get back into their mamas if they need to, so they're nice and safe. I bet, I bet they learned why they were green it. I bet, I bet mom told them. Probably. Well, alrighty, let's leave these mamas and their chicks to have a good evening. <laughs>